Recent years, we've seen a disturbing trend with tropical systems rapidly intensifying as they approach the Gulf Coast. Rapid intensification is one of the most difficult things to forecast, but one coast research facility is looking to change that. Late October 2020, South Mississippi is slammed by a fast moving late season storm. Hurricane Zeta unleashes 100 mile per hour wind gust and sends a 7 to 11 foot storm surge flooding roads, homes and businesses. But only 24 hours before Zeta was just a tropical storm. Hurricane track forecasting has improved dramatically over the years thanks to advancements in computer power, weather models, hurricane hunter missions, satellite and buoy observations. But intensity forecasts still remain a challenge. That is something researchers at the University of Southern Mississippi are hoping to change through a partnership with a renewable energy company, SeaTrack, and this device called the Infinity Float. It's a, a floating uh, platform for making oceanographic measurements that will help us better uh, predict hurricane intensification. One of the factors that can lead to rapid intensification in hurricanes is extremely warm ocean waters. But there is a lack of widespread observations across a vast majority of the ocean, mainly due to cost and maintenance. The Infinity Float is an autonomous device that could help fill that void at a low cost. This is a launch it, set it and forget it kind of thing, and it goes out for X number of months or even years potentially, um, and it makes those measurements. The hope is that additional observations of sea surface temperatures plugged into hurricane models could help improve the forecast for how strong storms may get. The float powers itself through an innovative power harvesting system that converts the difference in temperature from the surface to a depth of about 1,000 meters into electricity. Kind of plateaus off in a couple of thermoclines and ultimately at 500 meters depth it's about 9 degrees. As it bobbles along with the ocean current, it takes temperature measurements from the surface down to its maximum depth to get a profile of how deep the warm waters go. These measurements are relayed back via satellite roughly every six hours. So that's really the innovation here is to provide the long endurance mission compared to today's. There are there are dozens of these devices in the in, in the Gulf today, but they are powered by primary batteries and then they don't collect data every day, every six hours, they collect data every 10 days. The temperature data is not being used in hurricane forecast models in real time just yet. SeaTrek and USM currently have one float in the Gulf that was deployed last year. They are already looking forward to a bigger project for the 2025 hurricane season. We have a proposal uh, about a pilot study to NOAA, National Ocean Atmospheric Administration. We hope to deploy uh, maybe on the order of 20 of these devices. But the, but the hurricane season next year. SeaTrek says data will be provided to researchers during the 2025 hurricane season for NOAA and the National Data Buoy Center in Hancock County for evaluation. Once they accept the data quality and then quantify the impact, and then the, the following hurricane season 2026, hopefully it will be operational, and then the data will go to the hurricane forecast models in real time. Since 2017, eight major hurricanes have struck the Gulf Coast. While scientists work to improve intensity forecast, this is a reminder on why it is important to prepare now for a hurricane.